Hello everyone. Um, just testing this out. So uh, I think this is where this is the question we stopped uh, the previous time. So I'm going to continue with the revision of this question. And I know some of you have also asked me on how uh, we should attempt uh, this question. So let's start. Okay. So if you have your worksheets in front of you, let's have a look. Okay. We know that A is the mouth, and we know that the mouth is where. Digestion begin, right? Digestion begins here. Okay? Alright. I'm going to change this color here. Okay, digestion begins at the mouth. Why? Because saliva is added and the saliva helps to break down the food into smaller substances. Okay, at the same time, the mouth, the teeth and your... Uh, everything else helps to cut it into small pieces so that you can swallow. Alright. Now next is the B. B we know is the gullet. Is there any is there any digestion happening in the gullet? Well we do know that there is none. Alright. There are no, no digestion in B. Okay, because the gullet is just to bring down the food into the stomach. Alright? Okay, so what is C? C would be the stomach, right? And we know that C is where a lot of digestive juices is added. Okay, so this is where there's digestion and a lot of digestive juices are added. Okay, a lot more than just the saliva in the mouth. Okay, so there's a lot of digestion happening here in C. How about in D? D is the small intestines and the small intestines is where Digested food has already been absorbed. Alright? Digested food is absorbed in the small intestines. Okay? Alright? And E is the large intestine. And the large intestine is where water is absorbed. Alright? So we know this already, alright, and if you don't, now you do. Okay, so one more time, let me repeat. What is A? A is the mouth, right? And the mouth is where digestion begins. Alright, B is the gullet. We know that there is no digestion in the gullet. The, the gullet just brings down the food from the mouth to the stomach. Alright, the C is the stomach and that's where a lot of digestive juices are added to break down the food. And D is where the small intestines are. Alright, and E is where the large, E is the large intestines. Okay, and that's where excess water is absorbed. So, by knowing this, we know that the answer Absorption of food cannot be at, uh, say, let's look, okay? So, let's see, digestion of food, C only, A, C, and D, we know that A, C, and D is the, where the digestion is, okay? It cannot be C only, so this one you can actually cancel, alright? So, what's the answer then? We know that it is not 1. Because it's not C only. Okay. We know it is not. A. <laughs> Sorry, I'm recording. Huh? And cannot be. So the answer must be. Uh, answer must be number 2. Right. So let's just check. D only, digestion of food. E and D, absorption of water, A, C and D, where digestion of food begins uh, and is uh, is done. Okay, so with that, thank you very much. Let's stop recording.